My name is Nick Nenadich and I am a long time survivor uh, living with cancer. I went to the Marsden last week and Professor De Bono at the trials unit at Sutton Marsden uh, said, right thinoma, I've been here 20 years. You're about the 10th person I have seen with that condition. So I've been on my journey uh, and ultimately I found my way to the hospice, not end of life stuff, but because uh, I was having an issue with pain and soreness and I was referred by my GP up at Found Hope and they said, look, you know, we think the best man to help and support and assist you, Dr. Tony Blower. And for the last 12 months or so, Dr. Blower has been helping me on managing um, my, my particular pain issues. And I've got to say, it's been very significant and made a, an incredible difference to the quality of my life, being able to control and manage some of the, the pain and, and, and the soreness that I feel. Uh, and actually um, receiving that help and support completely turned my life around. Not only uh, as the medication helped, but it's the psychological and the support that there's someone out there who understands my rare, rare condition. So it gives you a pathway uh, and there's nothing worse, I don't think, than A, being in, in pain and being feeling that you're alone and it's just you. Um, so I am in, deeply indebted to um, everything uh, that the hospice is uh, and, and certainly has done for me. Sitting down during lockdown, uh, watching the amazing response that Sir Tom managed to raise for the NHS started the ball rolling for me. I said to my wife, well, it must be really difficult for the hospice because they only raise money through donation and subscription uh, and most of their events are uh, cancelled. I wonder how they're doing. Um, I'd like to do something. I, I don't know what I can do. Uh, a lot of my sporting past is connected to Herefordshire cricket and Herefordshire rugby. So we decided that a uh, hundred challenge would be a bit of fun and a good cause. So I invited friends and colleagues to take part each day with me in five cricket runs over 20 days and five rugby conversions that would equate over 20 days to a hundred conversions and a hundred runs. So it was absolutely the best thing that could have happened for me because after three months of lockdown to sort of see real people and to do something was first of all well it was just invigorating Herefordshire Cricket Board got behind it some of the local rugby teams Hereford Rugby Club Luptonians Ledbury have been doing things so the whole thing just really took off and uh, when we set our target at a thousand pounds thinking well if we get a thousand pounds that won't be bad for a bit of a jog up your garden and kicking a few rugby balls uh, and the target you know, I think when it's finished, we'll have reached 20,000 uh, pounds, I think is just staggering. But what it says to me is how much the people of this community, the Herefordshire community, value uh, the hospice. They recognize what it is. And the other great thing which came out of it was that in conversation with people, we all picked out different things that the hospice meant to us. And some people talked about respite, some talked about the hospice nurses, some talk, talked about um, psychological support or, and bereavement and so on and so forth. So the whole picture of the hospice uh, over those 20 days became more and more apparent. And, and I think what, what it says ultimately is that we are just so fortunate, just so lucky to have such a facility in such a small populated county like Herefordshire and the people of Herefordshire really get it. Uh, and I thank the hospice um, for, for you know, helping and, and supporting as, as much as they have. You know, fantastic, thank you.